Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to show you how to use the text wrap feature within Caesar Leonardo's program. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like in the Cricut Design Space program. So if you're a Cricut user and you have been converting over into the Caesar program, I'm going to show you how you would generally set it up in Cricut and then what buttons you're going to need to press in order to do the same exact thing over in the Caesar Leonardo program. Now I know there's a lot of Cricut crafters that are converting over into the Caesar machines and they want to know how to use the program. I'm here for that. I'm here for you and I want to help you out. Let's get started. Okay, to start this video, we are going to start in Cricut Design Space. Now, I strongly suggest that you have Cricut Design Space and the Caesar Leonardo program open so you can do in real life application because I always say hands-on learning is probably the best way that you're going to be able to learn a new software. Okay, so in order to make a text wrap in Cricut Design Space, you have to insert a text box and you can put in any name. I'm just going to use mine just because that's the one name that pops up. Okay, I'm going to click out of that and I'm just going to make this bigger so it fits on my screen. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could come up here into font and choose the font. I am going to leave it the way it is just because that's not really what we're here for today. Now I am going to copy and paste this. I'm going to make two copies because we're going to do it two different ways. So for the first one, which is like the most popular one, is if you wanted to put this on a circle, like this name, you wanted to put it on an arc, you wanted a bow in it, you wanted to make it look like a rainbow or something like that, what you would want to do is with your name selected, you would come up here into curve, and then you can take this little dial and you can curve it down or curve it up. So let's just leave it like this. We're going to curve it down to 0.69. Before we move any forward, I'm gonna take that second copy and paste and I'm gonna go copy, paste, and I'm gonna bring this over here. So if you wanted to do like, let's say a Starbucks cup where the first name is on the top and then like Ashley's coffee, right? You would need to put Ashley on the first and let's do coffee on the second. I just double click that text box and now I'm gonna be able to curve this and curve this up like this. So then this is gonna be minus 69. So this is what it's going to look like for you. You could not do two lines. So if you do Ashley return and coffee, see how now this right here is grayed out because you won't be able to do two lines. So for the curve feature in Cricut Design Space, you only can do one line. Okay, let's move over into the Caesar Leonardo program. So I'm gonna go into the Leonardo program and I'm gonna insert a text box, so down here. However, this time I want this to be put on an arc or I want that bow. So I'm gonna come up here to this arc and just click on that. So this is where I'm gonna put Ashley and you can see how this is on an arc. You can change the way that this looks. So if we want like a bigger radius, smaller radius, if you want it to be curved a little bit, you know, to the left or to the right. Base position is like how close your letters are getting. So you see when I go up, my letters are going inside and they're getting squished together. Or we can go this way and go out. And do you see how now my letters are being more spaced out? Let's just put this back down to zero. The other thing too is if you wanted to change your font style, you would just have to toggle over here to font style and let's just click a font and then we can go back over and we can change all that up. Now remember what I said about Cricut Design Space, how you only could do one line at a time. Let's do return and put coffee. So now I can also adjust the bottom one. So I can come down here and adjust my bottom line out. And for this right here, top and bottom, you can do above only. So you can do two lines on top you can do two lines on bottom or you can do both. So once you're done doing whatever it is that you want to do, then you would just press apply. And so this is what our curved text would look like. So this right here is just a lot easier and more streamlined than over in Cricut Design Space because you would have to do this two different times. Okay, now let's go into the text wrap. Let's say you want a wavy text, right? That is super in right now. Everything wavy is super in. So we're gonna do my name, I'm just gonna leave it big just so we can see what we're doing. And now we want to wave text. So we're gonna go over here into this wrap feature. Click on that 
and just press check it out. You will need Cricut access in order to access this wrap feature. Okay, they have all of these little things that pop up. The wave feature is going to be this one right here, number 11. Okay, and then what you can do is you can adjust your waves. So you can see how I'm just moving the slider bar left and right and we can adjust the wave. Now there's definitely a whole bunch of different options that you can choose that are readily available. Now with this feature, the wrap feature, remember when we did that curved feature, we could not do multiple lines. Let's just exit out of this and I'm just gonna go back to my original text box. Okay, I'm gonna make this smaller. and Let's do my name multiple times. So Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. We'll make this smaller so it fits on our page. Okay, so with the warp feature, you can come up here and now you're going to be able to wave multiple lines and then we can adjust the waves to make them not so wavy if you wanted to. Now, the unfortunate part about this is like that curved feature that we have in the in that in that first one. These look curved, right? They have a curve on the bottom, but do you see how weird the font looks? It looks a little distorted. So this right here, the warp feature distorts the font versus like if you were to do a curve, everything is just curved and all the fonts stayed the same. So that would be the differences between the two because I'm sure you're like, well, I'll just do the warp feature. No, you don't want to because it's going to make things look a little funny. Okay, so that is the warp feature in Cricut Design Space. Now let's do the same thing over in the Caesar Leonardo program. I'm going to go back into Leonardo. We have this right here. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text. So I'm gonna go down here to the T. I'm gonna insert this text. Okay, at this point in time, let's just use my name and we'll do it a couple times. Okay, you can choose a font if you wanted to. Let's just choose any one and press apply. Okay, we want this to be a wave. So we're gonna come down here to this like grid looking box and this is the wraps. So a lot of the Caesar Leonardo program, it looks very basic, but it's because they're all put into folders, like nicely put folders that doesn't look too overwhelming. Okay, I'm gonna come over here into the, into the flag warp because that's a wave. So we're gonna click that wave. You see how it automatically just did a wave. Now with the Cricut program, you have that little dial that you would want to like adjust your wave. Instead in the Leonardo program, we have these right here. So let's just move them around. Do you see how I'm adjusting my wave? We're gonna adjust it like this and like this. So this one gives you a lot more features because now we can adjust a lot more things besides just one angle. We can do all four corners. There is definitely a lot more options than just the flag. The flag is definitely the most popular out of all of them. But let's just go in here into text and we're gonna insert a new text box and we'll do my name again. We'll choose a new font and press apply. Okay, so with this one right here, we're gonna drag this out of the way. Let's go down here into the warp and you can do the globe warp. Do you see how now we have a globe? The same thing with the, warp, with the flag one, we can change the look of our lettering. That said, let's go back. Let's just go undo. Come down here to the warp and let's do the tube wrap. See how now we have a little bit of distortion here. So it's the same features that were on Cricut Design Space. They just look a little different, but the buttons are all there. Okay, the other really neat feature that I like about the Caesar Leonardo program that does not exist over in Cricut Design Space, let's just insert a text box, another one, and I'm just going to use hello just for just for this. And I'm just gonna click on a font and press apply. So this is gonna be our brand new text box. Let's say that you are trying to put something onto a tumbler or something like a round object. You know how you're always supposed to size them appropriately to your tumbler. So we're gonna go down here to the wrap and we're gonna go all the way over to cone wrap. This right here is in real time of your tumbler. So let's say you have the tumbler at hand. What you would want to do is you would want to measure the diameter of the top. So you see how it says right here, it shows you. You wanna take a ruler and measure the top, which let's just say the top is six inches. And then you wanna to go to the bottom and measure the bottom. So let's just say this one is two inches. Now what you wanna do is measure from the length. So the top to the bottom, like this. You just wanna follow the directions. So let's say this is three inches. 
Okay, you want your artwork size to be how big? Let's say we only want a, this is about a two inch sticker right here. So I only want it to be two inches. Okay, we're gonna auto position it. That's fine, because it's gonna be like right in the middle of this, of this tumbler, hypothetically. Once you're done doing that, you would just wanna press apply. So what just popped up on our screen is what would hypothetically fit on a tumbler if we measured this correctly. So that's the cool other cool feature that Cricut doesn't have that Leonardo does have. All right, y'all, I sure hope I was able to help you Cricut users out trying to figure out how the Caesar Leonardo program works because I truly do wanna make this an easy transition for you. I will see you later.